What's up everybody, Ethan Pinfold here. I'm making a review of the new Powerbeats Pros. If you know anything about me or you've seen any of my previous videos, I am in love with Powerbeats. Um, I've been wearing Powerbeats for over two years now. Right before I bought these, I was wearing these every single day for, the, for over a year. And you can see, I don't think you're gonna be able to see it, but these are really worn. The edges are all torn up and gooey and stuff because they've been sweated on and used so roughly around oils and car products and oh my gosh, just everything. And before those, I had these. And I snipped this because this side broke and I was wondering if I could just have this one side to be cool and be like, oh, I have Powerbeats Pros, but like two years ago. And um, the plastic bit broke off the end, all that got like broken off. That was all covered. You can see like the circuitry right there because I use it so much because I probably played volume up down so much. That's why when these came out, they replaced the plastic that, that melted away over time with solid plastic. So I really like these because they, they obviously didn't do that. Literally the day these broke, I went out and bought these the exact same day because that's how much I freaking love these things. I... So then my friend Wills, he texts me, he's like, oh my god, dude, look at this. No wires at all. And I was like, okay, yeah, no shit. Like, I'm going to buy those. Like, I have to buy those. But then I saw a price tag, $250. I don't really want to spend $250. But then I kept thinking about it, thinking about it for months and months and months. And I finally, finally broke down and bought them. My only problem now is that they have lots of issues that I don't like especially in comparison to these because I've never had a single plan about these and then I get these and have you know 10 complaints within a month so my first complaint is I strictly listen to like well I guess not strictly but I listen to like mostly hip-hop a little bit of R&B and these are known to a fault to be way too bassy but for me since I like bassy music hip-hop and all that type of stuff I enjoy it and I don't really mind it being like too bassy or more accentuated on that end. These, however, people be like, oh my god, they're so much more level and so much more like better. But like, I'm like, I had like, where's the bass, where'd the bass go? Like, some guy asked me one time when I had these, I, he's like, do they have good bass? And I was like, yeah, they're fing power bees, you dumbass. So these, they don't really have that same, like, they don't shake your head when you wear them, which I know that sounds unhealthy but that's kind of the aesthetic that i was going with those that's kind of what i wanted also this one sticks out a little bit further because this one you can see my ear and this one you can't the case holy shit the case is massive the case is so big you put it in your pocket and it's just like you have a freaking bag of coins bag of bag of gold to go to the market five thousand years ago i have much gold <laughs> huh that is much damn this thing is Massive. The, the one thing that I think could be changed is there's one light here that says that they are charging But if only one is charging the light still goes red So they need to have two lights to tell which one is charging that way if one's not charging You can look, look at there and be like, oh, okay, and then adjust it or whatever Which you really shouldn't need to adjust it. It should be able to work every time no matter what it should never have any faulty I woke up this morning one of them didn't charge all night and one of them did so they at like 10 o'clock while I was working, they were they already couldn't be used because one of them was dead. Also, when you shake it a little bit, it can get on and charge and uncharge and charge and uncharge, which I feel like wouldn't be good for the batteries. I've watched it like through my battery thing. I like put it in my pocket and it goes on and off and on and off and on and off. And I'm just like, that's that can't be good. So put two lights on there, make it a more stable. Maybe put some cushions inside the case next time. Power Beats to make it so they cannot move in there and they're no. charging when they're in the case. And there's no other way for them to be in there except for when they're charging. Next point, the range isn't bigger. I don't know if they said that it was going to be, I probably should have done a little bit of research for this video, but I didn't. When I have my phone in my desk right here and I put these power beats on, the, the strap ones, the, the threes, and I go run down my hall and up the stairs, on the stairs it always cuts out, which is fine because I know that, whatever. I put these power, these power beat pros on and I do the same thing, and I run up, and it cuts out the exact same way as if I was wearing the old Power Beach, which is fine because it's not that it's a still a really long range and still really uh, good and whatever. But I feel like they could have upped the range of the Bluetooth wirelessness um, with the new Pros, also at the two hundred fifty dollars price point. You know, I feel like they, we, they could just you know make things a little better in every aspect. Anyways, next point. This one's a big one for me, and it makes me really mad when it happens. When I'm listening to music and it skips to the next song, sometimes it can either poof, like bust up, that, up the volume, bust down the volume. So you're just like, God, oh, that's really loud. Oh, that's really quiet. And you have to adjust it like every single time it goes to the next song. Imagine that. Imagine you're just peacefully listening to your perfect volume 
and then the song changes and it just it blows your goddamn ears out because it just added the freaking volume like way higher. I, I don't, I have no idea why it's happening. It's super weird and I hope that there's a way to do software updates on these things to get that bug worked out, but I'm waiting until then. So now I'm gonna talk about some pros because obviously there's a lot of differences between the threes and the pros. Why don't they just call them fours? That would've been totally fine. Anyways, they charge really freaking fast. So for this next part, I babble on a little bit too long, so I thought I'd just fasten myself up and voice over this. I basically just said that the Power B threes take longer to charge, but they last longer per charge, whereas the pros are really fast at charging, but you have to have the carry case on you to be able to charge them, and you have to do it more frequently if you're gonna use them like all day solidly. Um, so yeah, that was basically it. And I hate the way this looks. Like if I had, if I'm getting in like a juicy fit, like if I'm putting on some hot clothes to look fuego for the boys or for the girl, and I put these on afterwards, like I never thought about it because I've always, I've had these for like over a year. But this is just what I wear. It's just whatever. It is what it is. It's fine. Put them around here. They kind of look kind of look swaggy. You know what I mean? Better than those big ass chunky ones with like the little buds that go up. So you know, I was like, whatever. It's fine. I put these on. I basically look way richer than an AirPod person. AirPods are like 150. These are like 250. I look rich as f I look way more important. This looks like an actual Bluetooth. I'm like, hello? Yes, sir? What was that? Yeah, buy 100,000 more shares. Okay. Okay, f it, 200,000. You know what I mean? Like, I just look way f***ing richer. I was gonna do an unboxing of them, but let me, let me just show you the box. Pull this up. Oh, wow, cool. And then you pull this off. And then you have your little, your little papers and your buds and your little cord goes in here. And you're just like, oh, okay, whatever. So it wasn't very special. The unboxing's very mundane, so I thought I would just do a long-term review instead of what I normally do, which is a review right then. Because right then I was like, yeah, these are sick. Oh, did I put that in the box? Damn it. I should have waited for like the Powerbeat Pro 2s, because then they would have maybe fixed all, all these shitty bugs. Listen to this video, Powerbeats, please. How is no one else like that has done reviews on these not said this? Like, I've watched a few videos, like probably five videos. No one, like, yeah, these are just like really good at mid range and like they're just good and they don't fall out of your ears. None of these fall out of your ears. Talk about the connection issues. To reconnect these, you have to have the case and hold the button down for a long ass time, 15 seconds. Why can't they just make it so you can re reconnect the two of them without the case? Cause you're not gonna always have the case on you. Also, you can't turn them off. So one time I was, I went to work, I put them in my cubby at work and then I came back at the end of the day, grabbed them and they were disconnected and I didn't have my case. So I just had, had to just not have, not use them until I got home to my case. I hope that made sense. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll be, I'm still gonna keep these and use them a lot and I like them a lot for the most part. But there's just some problems that just like make me want to just like take a hammer to my skull. You know what I mean? It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. I'm not going to do it. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Power Beats, please listen to me.